KSI. This is KNN, the Knowledge News Network. Um, we're coming to you live and broadcasting because that sounds like something people would say. Um, we're super excited to be here tonight. Um, my name is KSI Jesse77. Um, and my other host here is KSI Crazy J. You can say hi real fast. Hello. And we're excited to see you tonight. All right. So. We're going to talk about some stuff. Um, there will be some posts going up in the news and history section where community members can sign up to be a featured guest of the show. So if you guys want to come with us and be on the show with us, um, please feel free to go to the news and history section um, and sign up to be a featured guest. Um, you can propose headline stories, submit community shout outs. Um, you're encouraged to message KSI December 77 or KSI True 77. Um, with any feedback or suggestions regarding the news show. Um, tonight's theme for the show is new beginnings. So Jay, take it from here. Thank you, Jesse. Um, www.ksiglobal.org, uh, web ops, new four mods, 30 second summary, give a big congrats. Alrighty, so the web ops new form mods. So give a big congratulations, big shout out to KSI Airborne 7, um, KSI December 77, KSI Dragon 7, KSI Green Day Fox, KSI King 77 on becoming forum moderators. Um, if you want to check out the forums website, just go to ksiforums.org. I'm sure all of you guys know where that is. So just pop on over there, give a shout out to those people, let them know that you love them and appreciate what they do because that's hard work. Um, Next thing we're going to talk about is the new AAP awards. AAP stands for the Awards and Achievements Program. Um, they put out some new awards, so it's going to be kind of dope. Um, you can check those out on the KSI forum site. Um, some of the new ones are kind of cool. So there's Nirvana. Um, you have to have 500 reputation on the forums, so that's that's hard to do. So if you can get that award, that's pretty cool. Um, friendly. If you won the day on the forums three times approachable if you won the day five times um, and then if you vote on OTMs and other related polls it can also earn you a ton of rewards so this is kind of new ways that we can get you can get involved um, you can kind of come out and do some stuff um, so yeah go check it out uh, if you go to the forums and hit the browse button you can click awards and it'll take you right to the entire page of awards there it's kcglobal.org slash aap presents new awards you can check out the new article so check it out cool 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 hey this Kingdom is Hearts december i'm 3. filling in for jay real quick we're having some technical difficulties I'm... jay are you here yeah i'm here okay good deal man go for it sorry about that my controller died uh kingdom hearts 3 30 second summary after 13 long years of kingdom hearts will have its awaited sequel on J January 29, 2019. Expect to see the same great characters like Sorrow and he travels with uh, the universe with famous Disney characters like Mulan, Mickey, etc. Sounds like fun. All right, so we're gonna dive into some news and history notes. Um, so you think you can write um, your KSI resume will be open until July 27th at midnight EST, Eastern Standard Time. Um, make sure to go write some stuff and get double points. So the double points are really cool. Um, they'll earn your points towards Div Cup. So um, instead of now one point for everybody that does, so you can think you can write this week, it is two points. So go ahead and take a look at that. Um, and then we're also going to look at this monthly spotlight. It goes live July 19th, um, so it's live right now. Um, if you head on over to AAP section in the forums to vote for your favorites and the most hardworking people you know. So just kind of pop on over there and let us know who you like and who's doing a good job. We have equipped you with a diffuser. 
Division leaders, please, please work with us and keep the divisional histories updated and the threads that are now posted in Everyday Division section on the forums is meant to be there so that way you guys can post history when it happens, aka the squad split. A uh, or merge, a general or seven is promoted, a mem uh, a general or seven gets promoted, gets promoted a member, huge impact on division, etc. We will be updating all histories between July 25th and July 30th of every month. Thank you for your cooperation. Okay, moving on. Uh, weekend Warfare. We've had a ton of really good Weekend Warfare games, guys. Um, two weeks ago was an awesome matchup on Halo 4. Um, bringing out an old school game, 2v2 SWAT. Uh, third place, uh, December 77 and True 77. Uh, we got a mixed div team for third. Second place was Breakfast from DM and Voodoo, Voodoo from DM as well. Uh, first place, Ninja DM80 and KSI Pastries from DM. So big congrats to the, that DM team. Obviously, two really good teams for first and second place two weeks ago. Uh, this past weekend, um, we had Overwatch 2v2 Mystery Hero Tournament. Uh, third place, uh, KSI Ronin 77 and Shadows from FI. Second place was KSI Pancake 1297 and Zombie Unicorns from EO. And then first place, another EO team. Uh, Death Knight 13 and Static Shazam from EO as well. So obviously Overwatch very popular in EO. <laughs> uh, looking forward to next week. Uh, Weekend Warfare is going to be on GTA 5 uh, Saturday, July 28th. It'll be an overtime rumble match. GTA 5, the event will start at 8. Uh, guys, remember signups are closing promptly two hours before the event. So make sure you get on the forums. Go to the TNE section. You have to sign up by six if the event starts at eight. Okay, we're not doing any more. You know, 30 minutes before stuff. You have to sign up a full two hours. So help us spread the word. Get on that. Get it done now. Um, even if you aren't sure if you're going to be around, go ahead and sign up. If you end up not able to make it, please message Bad Kitty or Gambit. Let them know. But please get it. Get your entries in well before the deadline. Uh, Jay, you there for? Hey, P notes. Yep. Uh, do TMs open on the second, twenty uh, second? My bad. Uh, Divisional sevens will be uh, contacted by the AAP liaison very soon. Make sure that you guys uh, make sure you guys hope on the help on the forms and get your nominations in as we start before the awards are out. Be sure to swing by and take a look. Uh, Headhunter standings. Uh, KSIforms.org, Topic, uh, Destiny 2, Headhunter Season Schedule. First place, Demonic Mayhem. Second place, Last Strike. Third place, Wicked Destruction. Uh, ten most top kills. Uh, first was KSI Breakfast 7 with, 11, uh, with 111 kills. Second place was KSI Hothouse with 85 kills. Third place was KSI Default uh, with 71 kills. Fourth, pl fourth place was KSI Beaches, 70 kills. Fifth place, KSI The Wolf with 68 kills. Sixth, KSI Z uh, God Zeus with 65 kills. Seventh was KSI December 77 and KSI so Soap 77 with 63 kills. 8th place was KSI Cable with 61 kills, Ninth was KSI Spartan with 60 kills. Make sure to keep up with your Headhunter player stats by going on to Headhunter section in the forums. <clears throat> okay, so now we're going to take a look at marketing notes. Um, 
so it's really short. This one is just easy. If you have any suggestions or feedback for happy hour, check out the happy hour suggestions and feedback topic in the community events section on the forum. So hop on over if you haven't seen the marketing section. There's a lot of cool things you can do if you're not a part of marketing, but you still want to see some stuff happen. That'll be where it happens. So um, we're also going to talk about the divisional cup standings and points. So if you don't know what divisional cup is, um, it's kind of the way that we're gauging activity throughout the entire KSI domain. So all nine um, divisions. Um, so currently, first place is DW Divine Warriors. They're sitting at 240 points, which is very impressive. Um, second place, Explosive Outlaws EO with 187. Um, third place is Wicked Destruction, 174 points. And fourth and fifth place, DM and FI. So if you guys want to be able to get your points up, want to see your guys hit number one and get Div of the Month, um, all you got to do is get active. Do some so you think you can write, get on the forums, look around. Um, if you have any questions, talk to your um, Div leads and the sevens in your staff, um, and they can help you out find find ways to get active. So. Performance operations. Performance officer applications are open, and if you are current, uh, if you are a current or member, former leader of KSI, we encourage you to take the take out the application. The Community Development Committee, the CDC, ha also has applications open. If you feel you are knowledgeable of KSI procedures and policies, as well as the enjoyment of running workshops, consider applying. Right. All right. So the next thing we're going to take a look at is KSI Greg 7 to Chief Knowledge Officer. So he got a different name for his board position. Um, the CKO oversees educational progress and standards within the community by creating and providing new training classes and leadership advancement programs. So he went from COO to CKO, um, just a difference in names to kind of really tell what he has been doing. So again, he'll be going over like the educational progress and standards within the community. That's kind of neat. Awesome guys, good stuff, good stuff. Uh, we've got a featured guest this evening. We actually have two. Um, our first one is KSI Akame 7 from Last Strike. Um, Jay, why don't you go ahead and give us a little intro on Kiss Akami. Um, tell us who he is, what he does, and then we'll dive into the questions. Well, let me start off with, uh, let me start off with asking, uh, uh, or telling you, Akami is one of those people that you do want to have at the top running everything. I think he's a really swell guy, and, uh, I mean, every, everything that I've come to him with, he's always been right on top of it, and he's been able to handle it really really efficiently and uh, I'm just glad to say that he is uh, really uh, filling that position uh, the uh, co-div position really well uh, first question I have for you Kami is uh, did you lose a roll of money with the rubber band because we found the rubber band <laughs> yeah, we're about 1500 bucks there, but you know, I'm not too bothered about the money. I want the, I do want the elastic band back though. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't have that. That's for my ponytail. <laughs> 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 All right. Um, first question I have for you, Akami, is uh, what does a re what does a rejoin moderator do? All right. So the basics of a rejoin moderator. Uh, well, not just rejoin, but a join moderator as well. We take a look at applications for people that are looking to either join the community or rejoin the community that have been referred to the forums when people haven't been sure how to process them. And, and what we do, we'll get them to fill out an application, and what we do is we re read over the application, look through, look, look for any discrepancies, and ask the applicant questions based on their app application and try to come to a resolution, try to determine whether they will be a fit for the community. Okay, question two. Uh, we're going to ask that always predictable question. What made you want to become a rejoin moderator? Um, I don't know, just a way to 
assist the community, not in bringing new members in, bringing old members back in, but also keeping out the members that are here to potentially harm the community. Um, so, in, in essence, the protection of the community, that's that's why I wanted to be a rejoin moderator. Cool, cool. I'm going to chime in for a second real quick with question three. Um, since our theme for the show is New Beginnings, Akami, if you had to give one piece of advice to a rejoining member, um, then I'm sure you've had to give a lot of advice to a lot of rejoining members uh, since you've been a, a rejoin mod. What would that one piece of advice be to somebody you know, starting their new beginning, coming back into the community, trying to rejoin, et cetera. What would be the one thing you would tell them um, during that rejoin process? It, it's simple. Don't focus on the past. Just look to the future and look at how you can not just better yourself, but better the community. Ooh, cool. All right, question number four. Um, what is the most difficult thing you have to do with being a rejoin moderator? So I'm sure that there's some interesting folks that come in on the rejoins, and there's probably some really great people. I've met some really great rejoins. Um, but what is the most difficult thing you have to deal with? Um, the most difficult thing is digging around, looking for discrepancies, and finding out whether people have actually lied on their application. Um, looking, especially when people have been denied in the past and have left that off their application, we have to go through, look for when they may have previously joined or attempted to join, been denied, um, if they've been security risk, et etc. et cetera. It's all the sort of stuff that we need to look for to ensure that we are keeping this community safe. Okay. It's so if a lot there easier people... to let someone in. It's a lot easier to let someone in that is, than it is to keep someone out. Oh, for sure. And so if the people like listening to the audience who were talking to or had a relationship where they're trying to get somebody in who was um, who wanted to be a rejoin, they had like a friend or something that left. Um, so like maybe talking to them and making sure that they tell their friend who's rejoining to be very honest, even if it's something they feel like might keep them out to just tell it. It's better to have things like out in the open sort of thing. Yeah, even the, what, they, what that person <clears throat> might consider as, as a minor detail could potentially stop them from being able to rejoin so any and all information they can think of would be very beneficial to them not not for me as a rejoin moderator but for me processing their application it's better for them okay i always say honesty is the best policy um and i stand beside that through and through Question five, and what, in your opinion, what rejoin members have gone through the impact on the community in positive ways, in LS specifically? I mean, we've got a prime example here in this party right now, and that's Mr. December 77. Um, I've seen a, a lot of rejoins, uh, I've, and most of them, they'll, they'll be active for like the start of their return to the community and then they'll ju they'll, ju they'll just fizzle out and they'll just be another regular member but Mr. December here he has gone head and shoulders above most of the other rejoins I've ever seen he's fully involved in the community he's made himself back up to a general's position within last strike he's in multiple departments he's driven and he's just wanting to set that example, for, not just for current members, but for newer members and possible rejoin members, showing that it can be done. And to set that example and keep that drive and that passion alive is definitely head and shoulders above everything else I've ever seen. So December is a prime example of what an outstanding rejoin would be. Personally, I think we've got a better example in this party. We've got a rejoin member who's made it all the way up to CoDiv. <laughs> Let's give him some credit <laughs> for coming back into the community and working all the way up to that. I mean, yeah, general is great and all, but it takes takes a lot more dedication to stick in there, make the seven rank, and then progress even further up the food chain. So, testament that rejoining the community can yield just as many benefits and just as many results as staying in the community. I mean, sometimes people have to take a break. I'm sure 
I'm sure you'd agree, Akame, sometimes life forces you to step back. Yeah, definitely. And another thing with me joining, you, you always have to adapt because no matter how long you're out, whether it's two weeks or two years, the community is always changing, adapting and progressing forward. So even in a short period of time out of the community, it can change a lot. So you have to readapt and familiarize yourself with how the community is running. Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Good deal, good deal. I think I think that is about about it as far as questions. We appreciate you making time coming out, fielding the questions and giving us a little bit of insight on what it means to be a rejoin moderator. Um, I mean it's not a problem we'll keep at in any touch. time. Awesome. Oh, Good stuff. I'm okay, guys, we are going to switch. I'm going to chill in the party and keep my mic muted. I want to play some Paladins. <laughs> Good deal. Okay. I'm, sat, right. I'm sat in your party. Good to go. <laughs> Alrighty. Um, so, the next guest that we have comes to us from the board itself. Um, here's my Scotland 7. Welcome to the show. Um, I appreciate you taking Hello. the time to come out here and chat with us. Hi. I know that you have that busy life of like drinking wine and running hotels and stuff, but thanks for <laughs> taking a break and coming over here. Uh, so, uh, can you tell us a little bit about the CDM, Chief Department Manager um, position? Like, what are your duties in KSI? Um, well, I've got multiple duties. Uh, my primary function essentially is to look after the departments, make sure the department heads are behaving like yourself, uh, doing their jobs, running the departments efficiently, making sure the department itself is running how it should, and um, mm -hmm. making sure all the admin side of things is done and, and kept up with. Um, the other side of it is, is the board side where I've got to occasionally go to the board meetings and, and vote on any of the big important things that are affecting the community and um, that's that's all I really do. I mean I'm just I float around, I, I keep an eye on things and make sure everybody's behaving. Okay. And so so just as a question, so you've gotten all the way up to the board of directors. So how long have you been in KSI? When were you recruited? I was recruited on the 31st of August, 2013. Oh, so you're old. Okay. So it's been a while. <laughs> um, <laughs> so in that time of you from 2013 until 2018, you spent these years working your way up. Um, what rank did you most enjoy on your way to the board? Um... Well, I think that's a double-edged question there. Um, the rank I enjoyed most in KSI, I would have to say, was being general. Um, the rank I enjoyed most on my road to board, which realistically was after my exit from Clan Ops, um, would have to be AAP head. Um, so you that, exited that position Clan gave Ops me to get here. I did. I did. I, um, okay. Some things happened. Um, KSI happens, you know. Mm -hmm. My my division was was unfortunately shut down when Xbox One came out. We did a uh, Xbox One trial division called Elite Forces, and it didn't didn't turn out too well. Um, and it was on the uh, recommendation of the board that I refocus myself, make sure you know I, I start looking at the departments and seeing where I can apply myself elsewhere, and, uh, mm -hmm. and let the new books uh, take their take their place in Clan Ops. So. Um, I did that, moved into the AAP, um, did a little bit of news dabbling, and um, yeah, now I'm here. So that's cool, it kind of shows how um, not only clan ops can get you to the board, right? So you can do it through departments, you can do it through um, like maybe web apps. Um, so not only being in a clan ops part, but the very important other parts of KSI, those other operations can get you to the board. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I think it's one thing that most people don't realize that getting to the board, you've got three different areas of KSI, um, and all three areas can get you there eventually. If that's what you're looking to do, it's it's quite achievable, and I, I think I am a, a very good example of that. I mean, like I said, you know, I, I was a bit of a failure in Clan Ops, and um, I still made it, you know? I wouldn't say you're a good example, but you're the best example that we have. <laughs> I, I feel you. I feel you. 
<laughs> All right. Okay, so um, question three. I mean, obviously, uh, we've had to do some. Uh, you've had to do some some things in 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 your career in KSI. What is the most difficult thing you've had to deal with being in a CDM? <laughs> <laughs> the most difficult thing I've had to deal with. Um, well, part of me wants to say Jessie there, but she's in the party, so I can't say that. <laughs> <in public. laughs> so me. Um, the most important, or sorry, not most important, most difficult thing I've had to deal with would probably be not getting involved. Part of my job is to allow others to do their job and to learn and to make their own mistakes and that way we, we get better. Um, I'm very much a hands-on person. I hate not being able to, to get involved and make the decisions for people and, and physically action things. I hate it. Um, I'm sure either of the department heads in, in the party here can tell you I, I'm always asking questions. I'm always sticking my nose into places and it's very difficult for me not to do that. Um, and I tried really hard. I went on holiday and I was still asking questions. I was like, so do you guys do that? And everyone's like, you're on holiday. Go away. Like, you're fired for a week. I was like, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was back the next day. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, question four. If you were allowed to be biased for a moment and had to pick a favorite department, which I one would it be and why? Is an essential skill. <laughs> Marketing. Ooh. <laughs> um, I'll be honest, I don't think I can answer that, if I'm being perfectly honest. Um, each department to me has a special place. Um, all of them have given me troubles, they've all given me headaches, sleepless nights, um, made me sit and stare at my phone for hours at end trying to figure things out. Um, I, I can pick a favorite. They're, they're all like kids to me, you know, they genuine. this sounds really weird, but genuinely like the, the departments are very much a, a special place in my heart and I couldn't choose one over the other, unless they I mean, pay you're me. Definitely, you're definitely old enough to be my dad, so congratulations. <laughs> Thanks for that. <laughs> you're just loving right. those old comments, aren't you? <laughs> well, I mean, if the shoe fits, my friend, or if the cane fits, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> All right, last question for you, Scotland. Um, so, and this is a very serious one, so I'm going to need you to, like, really think. All right. Which superhero is your favorite and why? Oh, serious question. It's a serious answer. Have mm -hmm. you ever seen Impy wearing a pair of tighty whiteies? <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> No. I mean, I mean, that's a, is, what's he, the, what would he, the superhero name be there? Tighty whitey MP. Tighty whitey MP. All right. Hey, like uh, somebody seven. needs to make a meme of that. Like, in the, if you're watching this, you need to make a tighty whitey MP meme, and then we can blast him with it. So that's your homework for this week. <laughs> Hashtag tighty whitey MP. Mm. That's a good superhero. What What is his superpower? Like, uh. Blacklisting and DNA ching. That's his <laughs> superpower. Be like being it. godlike at Rocket League. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. All right. So unfortunately, our time is up for you, Scotland. Um, I really appreciate you um, hanging out with us, uh, chilling, answering our questions. Um, we look forward to maybe having you on the show in the future. So thanks again. And us at KNN. You got it. As we wrap things up, brief announcements. Uh, GTA 5 Online After Hours update is going to be dropping tomorrow on the 24th. So be, make sure to that you're all geared up and you have your money saved up because I hear, I'm hearing it's supposed to be the most expensive DLC that GTA has ever put out. So make sure that you tune in or make sure that you uh, gear up for that and, and try to get the, the latest and greatest GTA content that Grant Rockstar has available. Thank you for tuning in. We appreciate the audience, guys, and thank you for making time to watch our new show. Alrighty, the last thing I want to say before we uh, shut us down for the evening, um, make sure you head on over to the news section within the next week um, to sign up and get involved in KNN. Um, so there's featured story submissions. 
Um, so if you have any KSI related stories that you want to tell the community, um, put them in there. Maybe like somebody awesome, maybe they did something cool or um, maybe something happened in a game night. I don't know what happens in all of your game nights, but maybe something cool happens. Um, post it up in the featured story submissions. Um, the next thing we got is the community shout out submission. Uh, so if there's somebody that you want to shout out, someone else in the community, their squad or division is preferred, so we'll include that if they're clan ops. If they're not, include their web ops or forum ops, whatever their rank is. Um, give them a shout out in our community shout out submissions and, and maybe on the show. Um, guest list sign up. So if you want to be on the show, if you want to be in this party with us, um, we get to make jokes about you. Um, you get to make jokes about us. Um, sign up on the guest list. Sign up in the news section on the forums. Um, and last but not least, the joke submissions for August. So if you want us to read jokes that are good and clean and COC related and they won't offend Tidy Weddy MP, um, please post them up in the joke submission section in the forums. Again, the news section, um, asiforums.org, go to the news section. Um, and our next show is next Monday, um, the 30th. So please spread the word, encourage your fellow squad mates to tune in. If you're an officer, maybe hold viewing, viewing parties. This is a great way to get your members involved, show them that KSI is an organized community. Um, we really appreciate the support. Um, I appreciate all of you guys taking time out of your nights, taking time out of your KSI time um, to kind of hang out with us. Um, but yeah, so thanks again for watching. See you next Monday and have a good night.